have a liquidation auction box. This is full of returns from Amazon, uh, possibly shelf pulls. Um, not sure what the contents are for this box. Uh, we've got several that are coming. If you watch our past videos, they've got electronics in them, they've got home goods, they've got small appliances, any number of different things. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to the channel, click the like button down below if you like the video. Please put some notes in the, the comments to let me know what you're thinking about, like questions or uh, any feedback on the video. Definitely appreciate that. Uh, and let's get uh, going on this, this box. All right, let's see. Ah, okay. There's a lot of variety in this box. I'm, I can come up with a theme. I'll let you know what I think the theme is, but it seems to be uh, a lot of different uh, items. Let's start with this big one up top. Um, this, <laughs> I'm going to call hardware. It is a uh, plastic threshold of some sort, probably used to uh, like seal, um, seal between two surfaces, whether it's flooring coming together or uh, a gap in a wall or something. I'm not sure exactly what this is uh, is is for um, in this case, but it, it looks like to me it's a transition mold that gets from one surface uh, to a different surface. A lot of heavy weight, not a whole lot of broad uh, interest in that, I'm guessing. Um, that's probably like a $15 item. All right, next up, there is a, okay, so there's a little bit of damage on the bag here. Um, there's some, some writing inside that I can't quite make out. Uh, it says master. These appear to be bags with other bags of some sort inside. Again, there was a cut that went all the way through, so let's see if we can pull one out. All right. Um, oh, okay. So this is, it looks like it's for cake decorating. It says here, uh, well, it doesn't say anything. It says, happy birthday. There's a picture of a cake. And then it shows uh, this thing. So I think it's for cake decorating. All right, so I've ruined one of those bags. Uh, otherwise, in decent shape, if you are a baker, chef, uh, probably find those things handy. I don't know what it would cost for something like that. I would think the price is pretty inexpensive, $5. Uh, I saw the number 100, so I think there may be two packs of 100. This stuff is very light and thin. All right. Uh, this next item, uh, brown box, don't really know. Uh, so we have some bubble wrap here and, oh, this is a cedar, uh, a cedar box with some, uh, looks like laser designs engraved. And it's a music box. Um, just with a velvet uh, bottom, looks like that's removable, yeah, to expose the mechanics inside. Yeah, so just a simple laser etched uh, cedar box. All right, I don't know, five bucks. Put a little bit, some, some jewelry in there or something like that. I'd rather have that than the other two items so far, but that's just me. All right, next item, tools. This is like a socket ratchet of some sort. It's a tool in pieces, uh, which I don't think is supposed to be in pieces. 
Um, this is uh, called a gear wrench. Never heard of that brand before. It looks like all the things that are needed to build your own wrench are included. Um, I may try to mess with this later. Um, if that doesn't work, I may try to contact the company and see if they will exchange it for a uh, fully built and operational uh, gear wrench. Now, those are handy. I, I've never purchased one myself, but uh, I have toyed around with the idea. I think it's a good idea. Uh, maybe we'll have one that works here. All right, but that's a broken item. Not fun. Something just went flying. We'll see. Uh, very small, lightweight item here. Can't see what's inside the plastic wrap. Um, how do I do this without... Okay, here we go. Trying not to cut the contents inside. Not sure what we've got. Uh, it says water pick. Okay, these are... Uh, replacement heads for water pick branded uh, toothbrush. The box itself is cut open and the toothbrushes are used. Yeah, there's toothpaste inside the brush heads. Um, I would show you on the overhead, but that's currently offline. I will get that up and going here soon. Uh, but there's only two brush heads in here and I think it was supposed to be uh, four. Anyhow, trash. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm going to fix the overhead video so that we can see some of those details that we want to see and I will pick back up in just a few. Alright, we're back. I have fixed the overhead camera and now we have this lovely extension cord that is uh, helping us with that task. So sorry about that. Let's continue with the unboxing video. Look at that. We got some insect and mite disease control. Uh, I don't know how you test it. Um, it's a full bottle doesn't feel like it's leaked anything. I'm gonna put that over there. Um, probably like $2.99 to buy. I can't imagine resale on eBay is gonna be easy for that. Uh, next item is an Asus Thunderbolt EX3. This is an expansion card for uh, a motherboard for your computer. Um, Probably won't mean a whole lot to you if you don't do anything with computers. It's got a digital video uh, cable to uh, mini DP, a sound uh, cable, a driver card, and the expansion card itself, which for me is going to be impossible to test because I don't have a half-built computer system that needs this. All right, let's see what we have next. Sentry Fipro Guard for Dogs. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, it's a flea guard. Okay, go from electronic components to flea guard. That's a wide range. Mosquito Magnet. Uh, you know what's funny is, so now we've had this looks, I, I don't know if this is used or not. Um, so we've got mosquito stuff, we've got insect killer, we've got uh, a flea collar. I think the theme of this box is emerging. Uh, what else do we have? We have a refrigerator filter. Um, had these in some other boxes, not really sure if this is used or not. Uh, let's see, it is taped. I wonder if this is warehouse damaged this way, but um, the filter itself still has the caps on it, but 
is that really a good indicator? I don't know. Normally, uh, after you change these, if you've if you've had to mess with these before, they hold on to water pretty good, and so I would expect to hear water or see. Basically, I would expect some water to still be in there. There's no way to empty all the water out of that. Uh, so this could still be usable. Um, this refrigerator uh, water filter. Next. Uh, a weight ball. This one is yellow. Yellow says 2.2 pounds. Uh, so these are things that I've heard you will see in a gym. I don't like to go to a gym. So there you go. I guess the gym is coming to me. That's, uh, a weight ball. It's kind of like the old uh, those giant rubber balls that you'd find in uh, like Target or Walmart, uh, and if you filled it with sand, that's what that feels like. All right, next. Oh, I'll save that. I think that one's going to be interesting. Okay, we have a portable heater. Uh, it is winter time right now, uh, so this comes at an ideal time. I'll have to test this out, make sure that it works. Um, maybe uh, 19 bucks, something like that, for a heater. I don't know, tell me what you think in the comments down below. Uh, All-purpose light clips. So Christmas time is now past us, but uh, in case you want to get ready for next season, you got 100 clips here. Uh, I think I've got that times two. I did see another box. There it is. Another box of clips. Those are probably $1.99 each. All right. A coat hanger billiard theme. This is not... It's not good. The brass itself is all discolored. Uh, but the balls are kind of cool. Uh, I don't know. It'd do in a pinch. If you've got a clubhouse or something like that that you're trying to have all kooky themed, uh, might find that useful, but not in the best condition. What do we have next? Remote audio level controller. So this again would go into the theme of car audio. We saw that uh, item earlier um, that was an inline something or other. Uh, so this. Uh, Looks like it's in new condition. Something for your car audio. Next. Uh, this is uh, like a weather station. Let's see what kind of condition it's in. Obviously no box. Uh, but I did feel... I did feel the power adapter in here, so let's see if this thing is damaged. All right, so we have a, looks like a weather station. Uh, it comes with time, date, weather forecast, humidity, etc. I'll have to plug this in, give it a try. It looks to be in pretty decent shape. No box. I think those things run between like 15 and $25. If it's color, it might be a little bit more, but uh, weather station. Next up, and we're back. Things are falling apart here, but we're just rolling with it. Uh, okay, so we got another one of these uh, water filter for your refrigerator freezer. Seems to be the same style as the one before, kind of taped up. Uh, next item, Grill Eye Pro. Uh, this uh, looks like something that goes with your grill that tells you how your food is doing on the inside. Uh, de definitely opened. A couple of uh, these sensors for your meat. A little console that gets the signal from these guys. There's multiple uh, multiple sensors that you can plug in at any given time. Uh, so this could be interesting. I will be able to test that out, uh, but probably not for about five, six months when the weather gets a little bit nicer. Um, yeah, as we as we film this, as you watch this, it is uh, January second. So that's kind of cool. All right, 
what else? Oh yeah, no boxing or unboxing video or box would be incomplete without some sort of neoprene support of some kind. Uh, I don't know if this is a back supporter, a knee. Maybe I'll be surprised. Let's see. This is a back support. A large back support. That'll go into my pile of medical health accessories. Okay, next. Uh, oh, we have another. Adjustable line output converter. More audio for your car. And back to computer stuff. This is a uh, this is a solid state drive. It is a I'm guess oh there it is. 500 gigabyte solid state drive. If you're building a computer, uh, you need something like this. It is not something that you would put on your computer uh, like with a USB connection. Let me see. Is this? Is this factory sealed? No, it's not factory sealed. So let me just open this and show you what uh, what the inside of your computer looks like. Uh, if you've never seen uh, what a hard drive is, so these things are they can be pretty expensive. Uh, you know, right now 500 gigs is not a large uh, hard drive. Uh, so this thing's probably going to go for about 60 bucks, something in that range. Uh, it's this, it's just this little case, and what you see here on the back is you've got some of these uh, these connect. Oh, sorry, these uh, pins. They connect to a ribbon cable, then connects to your uh, computer board. Um, the reason why these are kind of cool is that there's no rotating, spinning hard drive inside. This is just. Uh, solid state memory, kind of like what you would have in your uh, in your cell phone. If your cell phones usually go up to, I don't know, 128, 256 gigabytes or something like that. This is double that. Um, and then obviously in a large, larger form factor. But this is really super compact if you think about it inside of a computer. So this is cool. I hope this works. This could be of a little, little value. I'm guessing about guessing about 50 to 70 bucks uh, used or resale. All right, next. Uh, we have a pair of work gloves. Uh, they appear to be used. I'm not gonna open that up. Work gloves. Uh, five bucks if they're new. I don't know the condition of those things. Next. Looks like a, uh, it's a ring to what? A round mini ice maker outlet box ring by Eastman. Uh, I have no idea what product this is for. Uh, I thought it was going to be for a recessed light. Uh, but we got some hardware in there related to a freezer. All right. Few more items left in this box. This next one looks like a microphone cable. Let's see. Yeah, this is an XLR style cable, male to female. Um, so this is ex essentially an extension cord for kind of your uh, your gig microphone, not sorry, not gig as in gigabytes, but like your heavy duty sound cables. Uh, a lot of microphones connect to that XLR style connection there. All right, I assume that works, can't be too complicated in there. Uh, three more things. Oh, this thing is pretty heavy. Uh, I'll open it, not too exciting. This is a, uh, a pump, uh, a submersible pump, I believe, for maybe a fish tank or pond outside. 
it is quite heavy. Uh, the housing itself is quite broken. Uh, that fan is not supposed to be, or impeller, uh, impeller sucks the water into the unit. Uh, that's not supposed to be cracked and open like that. Uh, there are other pieces that are broken. The plastic stuff is usually something that you can uh, get replaced uh, pretty easily and then still salvage uh, the unit. Um, I'll take a look uh, if that's possible. This is a very heavy duty uh, motor so there's some value there and it's worth buying a replacement part even if it costs maybe uh, 15 20 bucks to get. I think the pump itself is probably going to be over $100. All right. Second to last item, I think, uh, what is this? Controlled angle sharpening system. This is for sharpening your knife. Oh yeah, it's for sharpening uh, your knife blade and making sure that the, uh, that the angle of the, the sharpening is, uh, is precise. Um, I don't do a whole lot of knife sharpening, uh, but I imagine this will be useful for any number of blades that you could have. It keeps it in position so that when you're uh, sharpening uh, your blade, it all stays one angle across the blade. All right, cool. Seems to be brand new in the box. Uh, before I pull out this last thing, make sure there's not anything that I've missed. Okay, so this box has been all over the place. We've had refrigerator items, we've had pet items, or pest control items, we've had computer items. Uh, it really has just been super random. But, keeping with that random theme, and my favorite part of this box is a bag of balls. We got a bag of ping pong balls. I actually don't know if ping pong balls are uh, mostly used to play ping pong or to just play, uh, what is it called? Beer pong. Beer pong. But either way, this video... That was a bust. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Click the like button. Comment down below. Come back for the next video. We'll have another un unboxing soon. Oh my goodness, that lost that load. Uh, another uh, filter. It seems to be this. <laughs> We're falling apart.